It's hard to say it's just one. I would say accuracy is probably the one most crucial uh, metric that, that advertisers are requiring. Well, reach is the obvious answer, but you can't have reach without understanding frequency and unifying that across all screens. True cross-platform measurement has been happening for a while, actually. Um, it sort of depends on how you define it. We define it as being able to look at video across platform, across screens or formats, if you will. It's not only happening right now. We just finished a massive test and learn with 158 brands and brought those insights to the entire market last week before we headed to camp. Those insights told us that brands have more room to lean into OTT and streaming as we move ahead. I will say we are scratching the surface and have made great strides into uh, providing cross-platform measurement. Um, but I think that's where a lot of the opportunity now exists as we see this measurement debate rage on, as we see audience fragmentation continue to uh, really splinter across different devices and platforms and everywhere that Fox's content can be consumed. So one of my frustrations is that I think the, the culture of the market and the culture of the industry slows us down sometimes. And I just want to encourage everybody to believe that it's happening now um, and cross-platform measurement is available today. And we're so excited to bring it to market. We recently, last week, actually just launched Innovid XP, which is cross-platform measurement for everyone. Um, and it's global. So we're super excited to bring that to market and our advertisers have been asking for it and we've delivered. I've never been more excited about the innovation and the collaboration that's going on in the measurement space. I think uh, we're really starting to see new methodologies, new uh, technologies and data sets being used. Uh, and, it's, and it's really starting to now break the old model um, and starting to sort of push the boundaries of, what we've, of how we've transacted in the past and how we've measured success. It is happening right now, just because now that um, there is the ability to create identity and householding for multiple devices that might exist in a home. You're able to get enough signal to look at things that are being viewed on traditional TV versus a mobile device versus a streaming device. And that data does exist. So often in digital media in the beginning, uh, since the dawn of time, we started counting every single thing that we could because we could. And I think what's really important is that we count the things that matter for business impact and understanding that human connection that drives that business impact. I mean, it's really important that we evolve because viewership is changing um, and we've got to catch up. We've been lagging viewership trends for quite some time now. And again, the legacy model has prevented us from being able to innovate and be able to catch up to that viewership. So really, really important that we, that we get it um, right, that we understand what, um, what the viewers are doing, how the advertising is performing. Uh, and so without that evolution, um, we, we're just going to continue to sort of be treading water as an industry. So um, again, really important that we continue to innovate, continue to catch up, uh, and continue to work together uh, to make it happen. Because the consumer is not going back, and we need to measure the consumer across all of the touch points in which they want to be reached. I think it's fair that inertia has really, you know, got in the way of us making progress as an industry. Um, and now is the time. So with the fragmentation and really the, the huge influx of CTV, this is our ideal opportunity to say, you know what, we can do better.